All coming up, we're going to begin, though, with breaking news as authorities are unearthing graves at a Metro Detroit cemetery. Topping the news here at 5, the FBI and state police are digging up grave sites at Knollwood Cemetery in Canton Township. It's all connected to the search for missing people. This is a live look from Sky 4 over the scene now. Rod Maloney is live on the ground, and Rod, what are you learning? Well, what we've learned so far is that this is a search warrant that they have served. And essentially, Detroit police, the FBI, uh, Michigan State Police are here, and they are digging these graves up. There is a, an FBI uh, uh, block at the door here, so people who have family in there can't even get back in to see this. But it's all in an attempt to try and advance some missing persons cases. Investigators from the FBI evidence response team, Michigan State Police and Detroit Police, some wearing what appear to be hazmat suits, exhumed bodies from graves today. This is especially grisly work. They brought water pumps to get water from the grave sites. And after some exhumations, the technicians needed to be hosed down. This is a DPD operation and the department even arranged for city digging equipment to get at these very basic tombs. Since 1995, Knollwood Cemetery accepted bodies of the unidentified dead, unclaimed people from the Wayne County Medical Examiner's Office morgue, and buried them here in what's traditionally known as a pauper's grave. Many of the bodies were buried in simple pine boxes and body bags without embalming. The records for those cases predate computer record keeping, which means that a lot of the missing persons cases are not on anyone's investigative radar right now. Evidence technicians went into these graves looking to collect bone DNA samples. First, to confirm identification, if they can. Second, with that DNA information, DPD believes that criminal cases, particularly homicides, can be solved. Third, but certainly still important, there is the desire to help families whose relatives have gone missing without a trace get closure. So far, fewer than a dozen graves were opened. So here is the thing. There are a lot of families who have missing relatives who they've never heard from. People just left the house, never came back, particularly in the city of Detroit. And they might have even gone and filed a missing persons report with DPD. Well, a lot of these cases date back to before computer databases. And so a lot of these records are for these missing people are on paper somewhere in a warehouse. And so what they want is for Detroiters in particular to call Detroit Homicide. We have the phone number there on clickondetroit.com. They also want you to look at a website that we're going to link there as well. Uh, because they want people to call and re-report their missing loved ones because they believe that it's very possible those people are here and they want to be able to make that connection. Reporting live in Canton, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Okay, Rod.